Lucy Jennings, would you collect your things, please? All right, let's settle down and resume. What do you suppose that was about with Lucy? I don't know. I heard her mom's pretty weird, though. Apparently, the police were over her house the other day. Hey, Bobby. I just got in. He's fine. Talk to the sever. OK. All right, see you in a bit. Mom says you need to eat something. You want me to fix your sandwich? OK. You trying for Jean Harlow or Jean Simmons? Who's Jean Harlow? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Don't worry about cooking for me. I'll likely be back late. Mm. Hey, Callum. Try to bring back something worth eating. Oh. <laughs> All right, come on. Eat up. Lizzie, let's go. It's 10-2. Eat again. Why does this always take you so long? Sorry. Come on, let's go. Mom, can I serve a man on Saturday night? Did you check with her mom? Mm-hmm. Well, if it's all right with her folks. Oh, no, we need to go back. I forgot my mascara. <laughs> Lizzie, I think you can make it through one day of school without your mascara. All right, come on, I have to drop Bobby off. No, Mom, seriously, I need to go back. It'll take like five minutes. Lizzie, you don't need to wear makeup to school. Well, you wear makeup to work. Mom, Lizzie, I am already late. OK, but Mom, it's not fair. It's not fair. Bobby, look, I said no. Look, your bus is almost here. OK, well, can't you take me home then from me to school? Then I'll be late. Bobby, shut up. Hey, do not talk to your brother like that. And I am not arguing with you. Fine, I'm sick of you anyway. If that is the attitude you're going to have, then don't bother coming home. Maybe I won't. What was that about? My mom is stupid. Do you have any mascara? Come back up. Sure.
Rule number one of hunting, buddy. We're not here to talk to the wife. Sorry. <laughs> well, you're not back till Sunday. Maybe. Got more of that stuff? Uh-huh. <laughs> Wanna try some? No, I'm okay. It's not very strong. Uh, no, it's okay. I'm just not in the mood. Uh, uh, that's my ride. Do me a favor. Um, what is it? Folks found this on me again. I'm grounded. Oh, uh, okay. Just a Saturday, okay? Hey. Uh, do you want to ride back to your place? No, I'm okay. I'll walk. All right. Well, see you later. Hey. Kershaw County Police. Can I have a word? It's okay. I, I just need to speak to you for a moment. What is it? Is this your house? Yes. I'm afraid you're under arrest. What, what for? We found a bunch of marijuana plants growing all over your property. What? Uh, no, that, that, there must be a mistake because we don't have anything. I have officers there already. Whereabouts? Behind your house. They're there with your little brother. You have Bobby? I'm afraid you're gonna have to come with me for some questioning. Uh, what's that? This is a bomb. If you try to run away or snatch it off your neck, it's gonna go off. You understand? Okay, let's go. Where are you taking me? You want to see your brother, right? Keep close. I thought you said the police were behind my house. Keep walking. Okay, well, where are they? I need to see my brother. I told you, we're going there now. I told you to stick close. Just ask Lizzie to make you something. She's not back yet. Really? All right, well, give her a few minutes and I'll call you back, okay? Okay. What's your name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth Shove. You got a cell phone, Elizabeth? No. How old are you? I'm 14. You look older. You're a virgin? Huh. Hey, Bobby, is Lucy there? No. All right, listen, go to the end of the drive and see if she's there. Uh, Mom, I'm in the middle of a game. Bobby, just do it, please.
Hi, who's this? Hi, Amanda. Uh, this is Madeline, Lizzie's mom. Do you have any idea where Lizzie is? She's not home? No. I just want to know what's going on. <sighs> Sit down. Listen, there are no police. You've just been kidnapped, that's all. Now, if you try to run away, I'll blow your head off or I'll shoot you. But you're not going to do that, are you? Because you're a smart girl, right? Hey, you should have figured out what this was all about by now. You watch where you step. You wait here. Amanda says she got off the bus right here. She was almost at the top of your driveway. Maybe you should call 911. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. You wait for them at the house. All right. We'll uh, we'll keep looking. Okay. Yes. Hi. I'd like to report a missing person. My daughter. Lizzie. Lizzie. Come on, come on. 
Yes, hello. Uh, this is Madeline Schoff. I called about an hour and a half ago about my daughter. You said you were sending someone out, but um, no one has shown up yet. What do you mean you can't find my house? It's off Maine, outside of Lugolf. Lugolf. Richland County, no, Kershaw. All right, wait, hold on. What is that? 803-43. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Yes, hello, Kershaw County, please. I'd like to report my daughter missing. Yeah. See. Okay, 20 minutes. Where the heck have you been? You okay? Well, I've been on hunting. Your phone's been off all day. Yeah, I know. Lizzie's What's going missing. On? She's what? I called the police, but they put me through to the wrong county. Oh, hey, slow down. What do you mean she's missing? She didn't show up after school. No one knows where she is. Okay. Well, I'm sure there's a reason. Come on, let's, let's go inside. Anything? Nah. Even if she was here, the area's gotten contaminated by folk poking around earlier. All right. Well, we've looked around the area, spoken to your neighbors. Any reason she might have run away? No. You folks have any kind of argument recently? Nope. Ma'am? Yeah? It, it was just a, a stupid thing. Uh, she was upset because she forgot her makeup before school this morning, but it was nothing. Look, I know my daughter. She wouldn't just disappear. Well, most parents feel that way about their own kids. I uh, haven't worked a few of these cases. I have to tell you the most likely explanation is she's probably taken off to a friend's house. She got a boyfriend? No. I mean, that, that's not possible. All right, well, there's nothing more we can do here tonight. We'll check back with you first thing tomorrow. I'm sure she'll turn up by then. Let's put out a bulletin, let the State Department know we might have an in-danger runaway. In danger? Off with her boyfriend, more like. I don't know. We'll start up by the main road, I guess. Work our way through the trails from there. Case Palmerston? So, you got into a car with your brother and left her to walk? There wasn't much room in the car, and she was almost home anyways. You ever been in any kind of trouble case? What do you mean? Ever done anything illegal? No, sir. You sure? You know, you could get in a lot of trouble if there's anything that you've forgotten to mention. Yes, sir. He's hiding something. Oh, yeah. If you want to work the edge of the woods, I'm going to work the bank. 
She's always, you know, pretty much kept to herself. She's not real outgoing. What about this boy, Case Palmerston? What about him? Well, he and Elizabeth, they dating? Uh-huh, just a few weeks. He's like her first boyfriend. Is this too much? No such thing, honey. Arrête, stop. Fermé, close, ouvert, open. Watch you. I think she makes French boring on purpose just to torture us. Hey. You look great. I love your eyes. You need to calm down. Start accepting your situation here. There ain't no point thinking of trying to escape. All around this bunker outside, I got it rigged with booby traps and explosives. And even if you made it pass out, I don't have to find you to hurt you. I know how you love your brother. <laughs> Uh, it ain't as bad as you're making it out. I got us everything here. A solar shower for hot water, propane gas stove, a fireplace for when I don't want to cook using propane, a compost toilet, a 12 volt lighting system. You can got a TV, see? All the creature comforts. <laughs> hey. Hey. You best quit your crying now. Because the more you cry, the more I'm going to hurt you. So, you want to see if you can remember anything you forgot to tell us? Or you want us to remind you? I don't know what you mean. Rumor has it you gave Elizabeth some marijuana to look after. So now I'm wondering, is there anything else you forgot to mention? I'm afraid I ain't much of a cook. I always had my wife do all the cooking. Before that, my mom. You're married? What's your name? Vincent. Looks like you ain't made the news yet. Guess that means nobody's looking for you. shut me out you do that I can be real mean I 
anything? No. So you're gonna put an Amber Alert out for her? What? Well, not just at the moment. You, you see, we spoke with her friends at school today, and it uh, seems her boyfriend uh, likes to smoke pot. And uh, for whatever reason, he asked her to uh, carry some for her on her way home from school yesterday. What boyfriend? You know about this? His name is Case. So who is this kid? Just one of her classmates. We figure, seeing as she has this pot on her, that the most likely thing is that she's run off to a friend's place. What? That doesn't even make sense. You know, in case you found it on her. It was, she could have just taken it to her room and hidden it. Listen to me. There is no way that she decided to just take off. Her lunch money is still in her room, all of her favorite clothes, nothing is missing. The only explanation is that someone has taken her. Really think she'd run out on her folks for a little bit of pot? There's not a lot else to go on. Search the area. Took out a bloodhound, couldn't pick up anything. Is that it? You do realize the first 48 hours are the most crucial. I want a full search party ready first light tomorrow. Let's get a chopper and as many four-wheelers as we can lay our hands on. Yes, sir. If she's still alive, we damn well better find her quickly. I don't want to be pulling a body from a ditch this time next week. got me in a whole heap of trouble. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I just... I didn't know what to tell them. Have you talked to Elizabeth's parents yet? I think you should say hello. Hi. Mr. and Mrs. Stoff. I'm Case. I'm a, a friend of Elizabeth's. Yeah, Elizabeth, tell me about you. Uh, we've sort of been seeing one another. You're the boyfriend? I'm surprised you got the nerve to show up here. I'm sorry, I, I wanted to help look for her. Yeah? Will it ever occur to you, you might be part of the reason why she's missing? Don't, don't start this. Mr. Show, Madeline, you got a moment? I want you to meet Sheriff Thompson. Sheriff? Sheriff uh, Thompson, this is Don and Madeline Schoff, Elizabeth Fox. Pleased to meet you, sir. Ma'am, I know this is a tough time you folks are going through, but I want you to know we've got pretty much every support service in the state looking for your daughter. If she's out there, we're going to bring her home. So you're going to put out an amber alert for her now? Here's the thing. I'm afraid we can't do that just at the moment. Why not? Well, there are strict conditions have to be met for an amber alert. First, we need some kind of vehicle description. Second, evidence that she's been abducted. But she's been missing for two days. I know. But for the moment, she's just missing. And there could be a bunch of reasons for that. I don't believe this. I'm sorry, ma'am. It's just the way the regulations are. But rest assured, we're going to get word out to the media. And we're going to do everything we can to make sure folks know we're looking for your daughter. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna fight. I know. 
Uh, listen, what are you doing Saturday? I don't know. No plans. Well, my parents are away for the weekend. I thought maybe, you know? I'm late for math. Eat this. So you like the outdoors? Me too. I always love the outdoors. Guess that's part of why I like to dig. Smell of the earth. It's kind of real. Back in the 80s, I used to be in the scouts. We'd go camping, we'd spend a whole week at a time in the woods. You remember the Rambo movies? Huh. Well, I guess you're a bit young. Well, anyway, we loved those movies. I mean, they were real big back then. I mean, between them and the martial arts, uh, we pretty much spent every weekend in game mode. You know, playing a different mission. We were like teenage commandos. <laughs> That's the thing about growing up. Just don't get enough time to play anymore. Anything? No. You want to keep working toward Lakeview? I don't know. Maybe we should go look on Benson's land. Sure. Hydro lines and police report at least 200 accidents. No injuries were reported. A major police hunt has begun today here in the small town of Lugov, where 14 year old Elizabeth Schultz has been missing since Tuesday. According to her friend, she was walking home from school when she simply vanished. Despite a major search of the area, police have yet to find any evidence to explain her disappearance. And for that reason, they're currently treating her as an at risk runaway. However, Sounds to me like they've already given up. 
she's been abducted. And earlier today, they made an emotional plea for their daughter's return. Elizabeth, if you're out there and listening to this, we just want you to know we love you. We're here for you. And we're, we're doing everything we can to get you back. And, and to the person responsible for taking her, please don't hurt her. Hey, you need to get it into your head. There ain't nobody ever gonna find you. something why'd you choose me <laughs> well you think you're special is that it no look you're nobody to me I was watching you and your friends for a while and you were just right place right time How long have you been living here? Long enough, it's home. I've never heard of anyone living underground before. You think I want to live like this? You think I'm some kind of animal or something? I'm only doing this because I, I don't have a choice. What do you mean? Anybody ever hurt you? Well, it changes you. It changes the way you see things. People. Someone hurt you? Yeah, somebody hurt me. I used to have a real special wife. Called her Peanut, because she's so cute. <laughs> and let me tell you, she's crazy about me, too. Used to bring me coffee every morning. You know, playing a little housewife role. <laughs> well, anyway, one day, she just decides she's gonna hurt me when she ain't got no reason to. What'd she do? Lying, spreading lies about me, saying I raped her. Next thing you know, I got police snooping around, making accusations, going to everybody I know and repeating everything she said like it's true. So they only hear her side of things. And I'd never heard anybody, least of all Peanut. Well, unless I had to. Is that why you're here? Because you had to run away? 
The plan was to bring her here with me. What for? I don't know. Kill her or something, I guess. Never really thought that part through. Anyway, authorities come and they took her out of state, so that's when I decided I needed to find somebody else. See, you, you're like the bait. Outside of here, all around this bunker, I got it rigged with bombs. Inside too, see? So one day, when the deputies come looking, boom, payback. Hey, look, I didn't want this. I'm just doing what I gotta do to make things right. We're in game mode here. And everything's clicking into place, just like clockwork. We don't have to do nothing except wait. Maybe you should take a break. You've been out every day. Don? What are you doing? I have to go to the bathroom. Just wake me. This at the box store. Aluminum blocks infrared means their uh, heat cameras can't see us. See? The other day when you said that I was nobody to you, it kind of made me sad. I guess 
I guess I'm just getting used to being with you. <laughs> yeah? Mm-hmm. Search? Yeah. What time are you going to be back? I don't know. When I'm done. I was hoping you could come to church. We're having a vigil. Well, good for you. Personally, I'd rather do something useful. Pardon? You heard. Lord, gonna make everything work out. Got it. Has it occurred to you that having some faith might be a good thing right now? Right, you're just gonna magic her back with the power of prayer. Is that it? over this area. And if we don't turn anything up, we might as well call everyone in. OK. You guys, on me. You like guns? Uh-huh. Never been able to afford much of a collection of mine. What's that one? This? This is a Walther model CP88. It's just a pellet gun. So it doesn't fire real bullets? <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> How's it work? Show you if you like. Eight shot magazine. Got a double action trigger. 
uses CO2 compressed air to fire a cap at about 50 feet per second. It doesn't use real bullets, but it'll kill up close. See? You make it look easy. Oh, well, I am pretty good, but it's not that hard. You want to try it? Okay. So first you want to take the safety off. How do I do that? It's on the side here at the back. Yeah, you got it. Now, hold it real steady, and then you squeeze. <laughs> like I said, you gotta you gotta hold it real steady. You wanna try again? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Be careful. Sorry. No. Oh, there you go. Oh, see? You're natural. Put your shoes on. What for? Going for a walk. Don't get any stupid ideas. Night vision, just like the military. I got them on sale for $159. Stick close to me. I got devices all around here. Some will explode, others will shoot you through the feet. Okay, let's go get some water. Ain't particularly clean, but it's okay if you boil it. Texting. Just texting my girl, letting her know where I'm at. She the one leaving the food? Uh huh. Mm. Thought you two didn't get along. Yeah, well. See, that's uh, that's it's complicated.
Fact is, I kind of feel like you understand me better than she does. Mm. I like being with you. It's, uh, it's different. <laughs> well, me too. Hey, come here. I just want to make you happy. You know that, right? Oh, shoot. What is it? Helicopter searchlight. Well, come on. Let's go. Come on. First time I've ever been scared of the moon. Get in.
Right now, we're following up on reports of sightings in Virginia and Tennessee. As soon as we have something more concrete, we'll let you know. Meantime, I'm afraid we're going to have to wind down the search. Wind down? Why? We covered nearly 20 square miles, some of it more than once. Chances are, if Elizabeth is alive, she's a ways from here. If? I'm sorry, ma'am. What's going on? Oh, maybe you guys should go and get some sleep. You don't have to stay here forever. All right, let's call it a night. Let's start wrapping this out here, people. Let's go. We're going to start wrapping out. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. I wish I could lie here forever. Yeah. You know, when you were little, you were so cute. I used to wish that you could stay that way forever. And then you got a little older, and I thought, no. Now you're even more perfect. And now I can't believe you're almost grown up. Almost. So how's that boyfriend of yours? You still haven't told me his name. It was nice. Listen, and please don't take this the wrong way. I know you feel like you're not a child anymore, but don't go rushing into anything you're not ready for, okay? Okay. Sorry about the other day. And you were right. We gotta stick together. I don't wanna give up, Don. We're not going to. Come on. Ready? Yeah. What time we gotta be there? The service starts at six. do this? 
I asked you a question. What do you mean? Did you touch my gun? No. The trigger's jammed. I Means somebody must have fired it, and sure as heck wasn't me. I I'm sorry, I, I don't know. Are you lying to me? No. Please don't say that. I would never lie to you. Honest. I'm pretty sure it wasn't jammed when I put it away. I don't know. But I do know that I would never lie to you. Please, don't push me away. When did this come through? I saw it this afternoon. Okay, well, uh, Sheriff Thompson's on his way, so in the meantime, probably best we don't get our hopes up. What do you mean? She's alive. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Uh, fact is, anyone could have sent that. You think it could be a prank? I'm not saying it is or it isn't. There's no way to know either way. Sometimes there are nutcases who think it's amusing to play a hoax. It's sick, I know, but... No, no, this came from her. She used her nickname, Lizzie. No one else would know to do that. What are you doing? There's an easy way to find out who sent the message. It, isn't it risky calling the phone? What if Lizzie's with someone and doesn't want them to know? Thanks for the tip, but in case you didn't realize, I'm the police officer here. Dad, I'm right, aren't I? Fix the jam. Let's go. Just a generic voicemail. Hmm. Well, Sheriff Thompson's on his way, so uh, best we sit tight till then. calling the phone. I mean, if it is Lizzie, it's me that you wanted to speak to. Go ahead. Just got a text from a girl. She forgot to leave any tin pasta. Hey, uh, just give it a minute. Sheriff's here. Evening. So, Seems like maybe we got a lead. Is that the phone there? Yeah, I was just about to call the number. Best don't do that. If this really is Elizabeth, calling could put her in danger. So what do we do? We'll run the number and see what comes back. Meantime, I suggest you folks keep quiet about this. If word gets out to the media, there's a good chance that whoever's got Elizabeth could find out we're on to him, and that's the last thing we want right now. According to the phone company, it's a track phone bought about three weeks ago by this woman, uh, Catherine Heath. Okay. Just running her details now. Figure she's the one who's got Elizabeth. Well, text came from her phone. Okay, shall we? Hold it a second. I've been here before. I think I know who her suspect is. You want to share? Name's Vincent Filia. Wanted on sex offense charges a year or so ago. Yeah, I remember him. I thought he fled the state. He came here a few times. He was never around. Catherine Heath was his girlfriend. Mm, sounds like she still is. You gonna tell me what this is about? Have you seen your boyfriend recently? I ain't got a boyfriend. Vincent Filio. Oh, 
I don't know. Maybe a year? Broke up. So you two aren't still in touch? Are you accusing me of something? Because this is harassment. Hey! You better not start messing up my home! Sheriff? You might want to come back here, take a look. Right back. A flashlight? We just found out why Vincent was never home. Sheriff? Just right through here. Looks like we got ourselves a digger. I'm guessing you've heard about the search for Elizabeth's shelf. It's been going on pretty much in your backyard. So? Well, yesterday afternoon, Elizabeth's mother received a text message from her daughter on a cell phone registered to your name. I'm wondering how that might have happened. As far as you can recall, you haven't seen Vincent in, what, a year, right? About that. You want to explain how he could have got a hold of your cell phone? Because the phone company said you only bought it three weeks ago. That is your signature, right? Ma'am, you need to understand that if he kills this little girl and you misled us, that makes you an accomplice to murder. You want to think again about the last time you saw Vincent? I just put food in the trunk whenever he texts me. How long has this been going on? I don't know. Wow. You sure you don't know where his bunker is? So what do you want to do? Well, if he's collecting his food here, he's got to be in walking distance. I'm guessing he's somewhere up on Benson's property. Well, the Marshal Service said they're going to have a fix on where that text came from pretty soon. All right. Meantime, let's have the chopper take another comb over the area. Okay. You know, maybe I was wrong on keeping quiet about that text. What do you think? Seems to me that the press is going to find out about this sooner or later. And if Philia has Elizabeth and she's still alive, maybe we need to gamble. Warming up a bit this afternoon with a few sunny breaks and diminishing winds. Clear tonight with the temperature dropping to a cold 33 degrees. Sunshine tomorrow with the wind out of the northwest at 14 miles per hour. It's currently... Hey, come here. I think they'd stop wasting gas on that thing. Nine days since Elizabeth Schoff's disappearance, police announced that yesterday afternoon, her parents received a text message they believe was sent by their daughter. According to the Sheriff's Department, that message makes it clear that Elizabeth is being held in some kind of underground bunker. What's more, Police believe they know the identity of the man most likely behind her disappearance. Vincent Filia, a resident of Lugov, has been on the run from authorities for almost a year to avoid facing charges for alleged sex offenses. 
What have you done, huh? Spreading lies about me too, huh? Uh, I didn't do anything. You didn't do anything? You heard the news report, right? They said the message came from my phone. I, it wasn't me. Liar! Damn! Damn, 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 damn! You realize they're gonna come looking for us now. You understand that, right? I'm sorry. I just... I don't know. I, it wasn't me. I never touched your phone. Bullshit. You know what? I should just kill you right now. Marshal Service has confirmed that the text definitely came from somewhere around here up on Benson's land. Well, we're not going to get far now, especially if Filio's rigged the area with explosives. Let's make ready for first light tomorrow. What the hell's going on? You said not to tell anyone about that message, and now it's all over the damn news? Mr. Schoff, let what me explain. What if that Filio guy sees this, huh? Just, what do you suppose is going to happen then? Just hear me out. Why should I listen to you? Mr. Schoff, Don't please. Give me a chance. We're out of time here. We decided to take a calculated risk. Calculated risk? What the hell's that supposed to mean? This is my daughter we're talking about here. Look, I know Filio, all right? Filia's dangerous, but he's also a coward. So the chances are, if he knows we're looking for him, he's gonna do what he's been doing this past year, and he's gonna run. And that, in my opinion, is the best chance we have of seeing your daughter alive again. I hope for your sake you're right. Why'd you go and do a thing like that? I thought you cared about me. I swear on my life, I never touched your phone. What? That makes no sense. Please, I don't know what happened. I would never hurt you. Check your phone. There's no text there, right? Why? To try and frighten you? Like they did before? Please. You need to believe me. I love you. I just want us to be together. What are we gonna do now? Or should we pack up and try to get out of here? Or maybe it's better to wait it out. I don't know. But if the police catch us together, they'll put you in jail. If we could make it out, do you think you'd want to be my wife one day? I would. But you're already married, aren't you? To the woman that leaves the food? <laughs> no. That's my girlfriend, Kat. I was in love with her daughter. You know, Peanut. I called Peanut my wife because I wanted to marry her. What was her real name? Lucy. Lucy Jennings. You two went to school together, right? That's the thing. People used to be allowed to get married when they were 12, right? Right. So how can it be right for someone to say, Two people can't be together when they love one another. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to lose you. I want to be with you, too. Really? <laughs> Forever? Yeah. <laughs> 
You stay here. When all this blows over, I'll come and find you. I love you. I love you too. Sorry for balling you out the other week. It's been tough, that's all. a minute. Elizabeth Chill, I'm her mom. She's through there. You can go in, but you can't touch her. 